Hello friends, welcome to Selenium Training once again. Okay guys, so uh, today I am going to cover one very uh, important topic and although it's very easy topic that uh, the difference between is displayed method, is enabled and is selected method. Okay, it's a very famous interview question that they will ask you. Okay, what is the difference between these three methods and uh, when to use and how to use. Apart from that, it's these three methods are really useful especially for some validations on the specific elements like for images logo and some buttons are enabled or disabled okay you can check especially for the GUI testing point of view UI testing point of view you can use these three methods very properly okay but you should know that when to use and how to use these three methods okay so for this thing what exactly I'm gonna do that uh, we will pick this particular application that uh, this is free crm.com application and I'll go to sign up page and what I'll do that uh, you know we will see something like uh, the submit button is enabled or disabled or displayed or not displayed this checkbox is selected or not selected okay so let's create a class and uh, let's see my class name is element element visibility test okay okay and select the main method and click on finish so let's see this is my class name and in this class I'll do the same thing till here entering the URL and then directly okay I'm coming on the register page okay I'm coming directly jumping on this register page I'm launching this URL with driver.get okay but the first method we will discuss about it that is is displayed method okay so this displayed method is displayed method is applicable for all the elements it will check that particular element is displayed or not okay it will return true if it is displayed otherwise it will return false so let's see I want to check this uh, submit button visibility okay I want to check the submit button is visible or not so I'll spy this submit button currently it is visible obviously so I'll take this ID is equal to name and uh, simple I'll write the code that driver dot find element by dot ID sorry ID yeah ID by dot id and id is this and then we have this method is displayed see all these method is displayed is enabled and is selected are here so is displayed method okay i'll write and is displayed method will return one boolean value so i'll let's see i'll store in some boolean value boolean b1 is equal to this and i'll print system dot out dot print ln b1 okay so what is happening here so this is for submit button okay this is for submit button so if submit button is displayed on the page right this submit button is available is displayed on the page then it will return true otherwise it will return false so this submit button is available on the page it will return true right so it should return true so if you run this program let's run it okay so see it's coming on this page and it's returning true it's giving true it's launching this URL and it's submit button is available on the page it means this method will return true so it's printing true right very simple so is displayed method is very simple guys if the logo is available is button is available on the page is displayed on the page if it is not displayed you cannot see it then it will return false if it is displayed it will return true very simple now the second thing is we will see is enabled method so is enabled method right now let's okay right now we see that this submit button is not enabled this is disabled right because I cannot click on it and if you spy the submit button you will see disabled property is equal to disabled it means 
this particular submit button is disabled but how to check is disabled or not so we have method same driver the submit button i'll use okay submit button dot we have one method is enabled method okay is enabled will return true or false if it is enabled it will return true if it is disabled it will return false so let's see i'll store in some different boolean value boolean b2 is equal to this and i'll print system dot out of print ln i'll print b2 okay so by dot id submit button is enabled so if it is enabled right now it is not enabled right so it will return false so for this it will return false okay so let's run it so google chrome is getting launched and if you see the output it's returning false right because this is not enabled submit button is not enabled so how to make it enabled now so i'll click on this checkbox now it will be enabled now if you see the property of submit button now the disable property is gone okay it's not available now it means this particular submit button is enabled now so what i'll do i'll check this checkbox i'll select this checkbox and i'll make the submit button enabled so this checkbox name is agree terms and uh, quickly what i'll do select i agree checkbox so simple i'll do driver dot find element by dot name yeah by dot name and uh, i'll click on it simple dot click okay i'm clicking on checkbox okay so once i click on this checkbox submit button will be enabled again so what i'll do i'll check it again is enabled method okay i'll store in b3 boolean value and then b3 now once it is enabled after selecting this checkbox so what exactly happening submit button is enabled now so the moment is enabled i'll check is enabled so it will return true because it is enabled now okay it is enabled now okay fine so after selecting the checkbox it became enabled so it's printing true it's returning true fine so this is after selecting checkbox so this is a very good example that at a time of interview you can give give me the example of is enabled so you can see that this i agreement i agree terms and condition i agree the agreement okay the moment you select the checkbox then only submit button will be displayed okay so these kind of examples you can give at the time of interview you have to give some proper example guys okay okay now third method is is displayed method okay is displayed method what exactly first of all is displayed method is only applicable for checkbox drop down and radio buttons okay not it is displayed sorry guys is selected method sorry is selected method is only applicable for checkboxes drop down and radio button it means that particular checkbox is selected or not this particular drop down uh, is value is selected or not or uh, we have the value i mean that the radio button is selected or not so we have to check like this okay so how to check okay so what i'll do i'll check it on that particular element checkbox element okay so dot is selected so checkbox we have already selected in this particular step at line number 36 we have already selected the checkbox right so once it is selected it will return true so boolean b4 is equal to this and i'll print b4 value system dot out of print ln b4 right it means what i'm saying here the moment you select it then if you apply is selected it will return true again you deselect it then you apply is selected it will return false very simple 
so it will return currently it will return true okay now what i'll do i'll make it i'll select it again i'll click on this particular checkbox again to deselect it so simple deselect the checkbox so how to deselect the checkbox again i click on this particular checkbox okay agree terms and i am deselecting the checkbox the moment you deselect it it will be like this not selected again i'll check and store in boolean b5 like this boolean b5 so the moment we deselect the value deselect the checkbox it is deselected and applying is selected obviously it will return false now so it will be false right so for the different conditions we have written so output should be like this true false true true and false so let's run it and we will see the output output is c true false true true false right so see true false true and true and false right so i'll repeat the summary once again so is displayed method is simply for all the elements if that particular element is available on the page if displayed on the page it will return true if it is not available straightforward it will return false very simple is enabled method a math button or element is available on the page but it is disabled with the disabled property if it is disabled on the page then it will return false okay the particular math uh, button is not enabled it is disabled so it will return false but the particular element is enabled example is i i select the checkbox now the submit button is enabled right then it will return true okay and is selected method is only applicable for okay it's only applicable for checkboxes drop down and radio button it means if the radio button or checkbox is selected it will return true otherwise it will return false right <clears throat> so simply at the time of interview you can take this example is selected is enabled is enabled is very important they will ask you is displayed versus is enabled so is displayed yes fine and is enabled you can take this example select the egg agreement checkbox and then it will be enabled then it will return true otherwise it will return false right is enabled means element is there on the page but it will check it is displayed with enabled or disabled property if it is displayed it will return false otherwise it will return true something like this very simple okay and is selected is only applicable for checkboxes radio buttons and drop downs if it is checkbox is selected it will return yes true otherwise it will return false okay so so the summary here is the difference between these three things that is displayed method is applicable for all and it is the method which is used to verify the presence of the element on the page if it is available on the page it will return true otherwise false is enabled method is the method to verify the web element is enabled or disabled if it is enabled it will return true otherwise false especially for buttons i agree and click on submit button or something like that in that case it will be like this is selected method is only to verify that particular element is selected or not and particular element means either for drop down check boxes and radio buttons guys so this is the best example you can give and this is the exact definition you have to give at a time of interview guys okay so they will ask you at a time of interview with proper example so please learn these three things is very very simple please practice and then uh, i think then you are good to go right so i'll upload this particular file in my git url also so you can check this particular git repository and you can get the reference of this url i mean get the reference of this code and uh, please subscribe guys my channel there are a lot of videos are coming in future and whatever the videos i have uploaded please go through all the videos you will learn a lot of new things okay in future also i'm going to cover a lot of new things like docker and jenkins jobs and everything 
so it will be really useful for you guys okay so please subscribe and press the bell icon and share the videos thank you so much guys